the machine fly, hectic, whatever you want to call it, look at the setup here, especially when using high loads, we want to move ourselves to the side to unrack that, okay? We want to make sure that we're not loading excessively in that end range from the first rep, but then once we kind of get into it, we're taking pauses at the end and the start of each rep, okay? So you'll see in the stretch and shortened position, we're taking that pause, okay? At the stretch position is where we'll get the most kind of stimulus at the end range, at the shortened range, is where we'll kind of feel the chest the most, okay? Once we're in the rep, we want to make sure we keep our ribs down, keep our abs braced, and keep our back firmly braced against the pad. Set your seat height wherever it gives you that kind of straight line of your arm to have your hands just slightly below shoulder height, if not level, okay? Um, another thing here is to make sure that your arms remain straight throughout so you can actually cue to tense your triceps to make sure of this. But when we're actually pressing through these reps, think about bringing your biceps towards each other, okay? Not the hands, think about keeping the hands straight, but your biceps are trying to meet each other at the top rep. And then keep pushing through, you'll see that these get pretty slow in that short range, which is normal, but doesn't mean we're done. We can see that there's still reps in the tank and they can get slow.